Let's get to Lonnie Quinn right now as soon as we can, because are we at that point where we think about the weekend? Uh, listen, you know what? I'm on there Monday. Yeah, Mondays, right. I'm thinking of the weekend. <laughs> but look, I'm going to get into the weekend forecast because I've got some new information to share with you. But I'm also going to talk about your first official day of summer is tomorrow. And right now, the clouds are getting thicker and thicker outside. That's what the picture shows you, okay? We do have a cloudy sky. It's 78 degrees. The winds are not an issue. 78 currently. You were five degrees warmer at 127. You hit 83. Now, the average is 81. So two degrees above the average because you had this little burst of sunshine that came out for about two hours today. The record 98 set in 1923 and 49 in 1914. Didn't touch either of those. For your day tomorrow, similar temperature to where we maxed out today. I'm going to go for 82. But more clouds in the morning. Have some early showers out there. And then the sun sort of like breaks through. I think it's partly sunny in the afternoon. 82, like I said, will be the high temp. So what do we have currently for rain? Just some very light showers. Sullivan County, Ulster County. County, Dutchess County, a little bit into Ocean, into Orange County also, yeah, just nipping now into uh, Putnam County, and around Warren County, you've got some showers as well. The bigger picture is going to show you where the heavier activity is, and it's right here around the very eastern tip of West Virginia. It's diving mostly south of our area, but I think some of this northern fringe you see right here could trek a little further to the north because this low, as it pushes offshore, is going to pivot a bit and kind of curve up to the north, not right over us, okay, that's not going to happen, but there is a chance for some of it to push a little further north. Here you see 1 a.m., uh, some heavy rain is possible for Ocean County. Wherever you see the red or orange, that's very heavy rain. But you could see some bouts of moderately heavy rain push a little further to the north. Some breakaways, right? So that's a possibility. Then you get to your start of summer, 6 o'clock. 6.07 is the uh, summer solstice and a cloudy sky with some light showers, maybe a little spot here or there with some moderate rain out there. But it's going to clear out and you get into your afternoon. It looks pretty good out there. Then you get to Friday. Friday is okay to start, but then more clouds roll in. Late Friday, going into Saturday, that's where your rain chance develops. And Saturday, unfortunately, as of right now, we bumped that rain chance up to 60% for Saturday at 78 Sunny, more sun on Sunday, 85, so probably the better half of your weekend there. But it's not a bright sunny day on Sunday either. You still will have clouds that stick around. But across the board, by the time you get into next week, Monday, 80, with a slight chance for a shower or storm. And then Tuesday and Wednesday looks to be pretty good. So the kickoff for next week, I think, should be pretty fine uh, and dandy, if you will. And then right now, we deal with this one system coming through. So we've got a chance for some rain tonight and tomorrow morning, and then Saturday is the second chance. All right.